everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a first impressions of my Loewe puzzle bag in the medium size. Um, I think the colour of it is coming off a little dark on camera right now just because of the lighting in my apartment, but I'll show you guys um, some cutaways of how this bag fits, um, me wearing the bag, and then I'll also show you some cutaways of um, it in better light so you can see the true colour of it. Um, it's an absolutely stunning shade of blue. I think the like actual name for the colour of the bag is um, indigo. However, I bought this bag on Matches Fashion and they had a different colour name for it. In the description box, I'll put a link for my exact bag that I bought on Matches in case you're interested in the dimensions and the exact colour shade. Um, I'm not going to go through dimensions today because I don't have like a tape measure, I haven't got my internet open or anything like that. But I'll put it in the description box so you can check out the dimensions. But this is the Loewe medium puzzle bag. Um, so I'm going to go through my first impressions. If you've been interested in this bag, if you want to know why I bought it, um, how I like it. Like I've had it for two weeks now and I've used it every single day during that, those two weeks. So I do feel like I've got a good understanding for first impressions on this one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through why I chose it, why I chose the size and the colour. Sorry about that airplane. It's hot and I've got my window open. Might be loud. But... Yeah, we're going to go through all that today, so hopefully you find this helpful and you enjoy the video. Okay, to start, I'm going to go through why I decided to buy a little way of a puzzle bag. Um, a brief little bit of history on me. I have always loved designer handbags. I think it's such a statement piece to your wardrobe that, to me, it's worth investing in. Um, I love the craftsmanship of designer bags. I'm just a handbag person in general. Um, I used to collect bags, I would say, collect briefly is the term I'd use. I basically had about six or seven handbags in my collection and I would tell myself, well, I need a handbag for evenings. I need a handbag for daytime. I need a crossbody bag. I need a top handle bag. And I had all these reasons why I needed different handbags. Um, I then went through a little bit of like a minimalist journey, I guess. I wouldn't call myself a minimalist, so to say, but definitely cut down on my belongings and found real joy there. Um, and so, for me, I sold basically nearly all my bags. I kept a Chanel reissue in the small size and I kept a Louis Vuitton bag just because of the nostalgia and like the memories behind it. I might sell that eventually. I'm not there yet though. But basically, I've got a small Chanel bag. Oh my God, these paints are gonna drive me nuts. I'm just gonna close the window, hold on. Okay, hopefully that makes a difference. Um, I kept my Chanel reissue in the small because I absolutely love that bag. It's one of my all-time favourite bags. Um, but what I found I was missing from handbags after selling a lot of them is I just needed a bag for everyday use. Like, I didn't want to be going between handbags for different occasions anymore. I wanted a handbag that would be versatile, that would suit my style every day of the week and would be convenient as well. Like, I wanted a bag that served its purpose, to be a bag, to carry my things. Um... I always liked the Loewe puzzle bag. I was originally leaning towards getting the small when I first started to think about getting it. Um, but when I was watching reviews online and speaking to some of my friends who have the small Loewe bag, they were just saying that, like, um, the only annoying thing about it is the opening's a bit small, but they can fit a lot inside. And I was thinking, like, I don't want something that's difficult to get in and out of. Like, I needed a handbag that I do photography on the side of my other work. So I needed a handbag I could carry my camera around in. I also vlog, like, do London vlogs. So I needed a handbag I could fit my vlog camera in. And I just wanted something that I could put everything in, keep it all in one place, and just have the convenience of that. So once I started thinking in that mindset, I decided I would get probably lean more towards the medium puzzle bag. Um, I'm going to show you guys now some cutaways of me wearing the bag. You can wear it crossbody, which I love to do. Um, it's it's just really convenient crossbody. Because the medium is bigger, and just for reference, I'm 5'3", if I was to wear the medium crossbody in front of my body, it looks ridiculous. It looks too big, and I think this is something that does put people off the medium because they want a crossbody bag. Um, and it looks really big that way. But for me, when I wear this crossbody, I sit it more like a satchel. So I put the bag to the side of my body. It's super, super comfortable wearing it like that. It doesn't matter how much I've got in my bag. It's comfortable. Um, it's it's not that heavy, but depending on what you put on it, it will add the weight. So it's not like it's a heavy bag to begin with. And the crossbody strap has just got this really nice padded kind of detail here. It's an adjustable strap as well, so you can adjust it. But I just find for me, crossbody is how I wear it the most. It's so convenient, and that's what I wanted from this bag. Um, I wanted something I could fit everything in. 
Um, just whilst we're talking about ways to wear the bag, you can also carry it with a top handle, which I love. So something that definitely attracted to me to this bag to begin with is the fact that I could put everything I wanted in it because of the size. Um, but also it's so versatile. Like if I was dressed up and I wanted a top handle bag, I could just unclip the strap, which literally would just clip off here. Um, and then I could just wear it as a cross, uh, as a top handle bag, sorry. Um, and I could just hold this like, you know, briefcase style, or I could put it on the crook of my arm like this. Um, I think you could probably also wear it on your shoulder like this. I mean, it's not that comfortable, but it's an option. Um, and then, so that's a great option. You can use it top handle if you want. Um, the crossbody strap's adjustable, so you can make it shorter or longer. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. There's even a way to wear this as a backpack, which I personally don't like wearing it across my back just because I'm larger chested. So I find it just really cuts into the wrong place there. Um, but yeah, it's really, really versatile. And that's what I wanted. I wanted an everyday bag. I could put everything in that looked amazing, that was great quality and went with my style. Um, something I love the aesthetic of, something that was just convenient for my life. And this is, I'm just so happy with it. Like I've said, I've used it every day for two weeks and I friggin love it. So yeah, that's why I chose the Loewe puzzle bag. It was a lifestyle decision. That's what I'm telling myself. Um, and that's why I chose the medium as well. The small just wasn't gonna fit everything I needed in it for an every single day bag. I use this bag for work. I use this bag on the weekends. Um, I just love it. And it fits a lot inside as well. Um, I'm gonna go through more details of the inside and the opening and whether it's annoying or not and things like that. But yeah, that's why I chose the medium. Loewe puzzle bag. Okay, next up I'm gonna just briefly go over the colour. As I said, it is a gorgeous blue. I got asked the question quite a few times on Instagram, like why didn't I go for a neutral colour, like a tan or a black or something like that. Um, originally I was thinking to get like a dark blue or a navy, but I don't know. I just kind of started to decide that like, because this is the medium puzzle bag, the reason I didn't want to get it in black is I just felt like it would be too much black. like. It would be just really harsh. There's a lot of leather detail here. And I just thought if this was entirely black, it would just look too dark. And um, I wanted this bag to be something I could use all year long, no matter what outfit I was wearing. And I genuinely believe this color goes with everything. It doesn't matter if I was wearing yellows, oranges, whites, blacks, like multicolors, it goes. And what I love about this color is if I wanted to wear an all black outfit, like in the winter or something, I absolutely could. But then for summer when I want to wear lighter colours or if I wanted to wear a multicoloured outfit, which I'm definitely going to be doing in the summer because I love colours, um, then this goes with that too. Like this colour to me is a neutral colour. It's not the kind of colour that is going to go out of style. It's not the kind of colour that is going to clash with something so you can't wear it one day. This is the kind of colour where if you want a coloured bag, this can be that neutral colour. So that's why I went with this colour. Um, also, just to touch on how much I paid for the bag, um, as I mentioned, I got it on Matches Fashion. It was $17.95 on Matches Fashion, but I had a £300 off code, like a voucher code, which is amazing. So it basically made this bag just a tiny bit more expensive than buying it pre-owned. I think it's like a £100 difference from buying it pre-owned, and I got it new. So that was an amazing deal for me. Um, I always think when possible, just figure out a way to get discounts on these kind of things, because if I... I just don't, I don't have any plans at the moment, but if in the future I ever decided to sell this bag, I could probably get close to what I spent on it because of my discount. There's no way I could get 1700 back for this bag, but I reckon I could probably sell it for 1200 which would only be short of what I spent on it because of the voucher. So that's the costing behind it. I think the small bag is £300 cheaper, so um, yeah, again, something to look at if you're looking for the small. For me, the small just wasn't going to work because, like I said, I wanted an everyday bag for my lifestyle. Um, you can definitely find these pre-owned guys if they're out your budget. So what I'll do is, in the description box, I'll put the matches link for this exact bag. Um, and then I'll also just put a link for like a website like Vestia Collective. If you've not heard of that, it's a great place to buy pre-owned things. I bought a pre-owned Burberry trench coat on there um, for half the price and I'm really happy with it. They have clothes and accessories, so I'll put a link for Vestiaire down below as well in case you're interested um, in seeing what's available pre-owned and the price that's pre-owned. Okay, that's better. So now you guys can see the bag a bit closer. I also put on a box light just so it's a bit brighter for you. Um, okay, so features of the bag. It's kind of like a boxy shape. It's called the puzzle bag because it's got all these different 
pieces that go together you can fold the bag up to make it a clutch different things like that um so on the back this is open at the moment because i've been using it today oh also to mention my bag is gold hardware originally i probably would have gone for silver but to be honest i fell in love with this color so much that the gold doesn't really bother me i mix my jewelry like i've got gold jewelry on today like a gold necklace as well so yeah i like gold and silver so it doesn't really bother me that it's gold um, but something to bear in mind um another detail with this bag that i love is just that it's got this like exposed stitching on the outside and it's got it on the handle as well freaking love that so that's really cool um this kind of has like a denim effect to it i feel like with the stitching and then the color kind of reminds me of denim um so on the back we've got this pocket now i have got a sadly very cracked um iphone 7 plus here and um, just to give you guys an idea if i was to stand it upwards with my 7 plus it wouldn't fit however if i kind of fold it in which i think i've got something in here there we go i can basically just about squeeze that in there and it, to be honest it doesn't affect the shape of the bag at all i would be confident to put it in there but most of the time i just stick it in the front of the bag um yeah so we've got this pocket here which is a really nice size in here at the moment i think i'm going to do a separate video with an entire what's in my bag so um if you're not subscribed to my channel maybe subscribe if you want to see what i carry around in here um i'm going to show you some things that fit in this bag today but i'm not going to go through every detail of what's inside just because otherwise this will be an hour-long video but the what's in my bag of this bag will be coming really soon so make your make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss that um in here i'll usually put my ear pods my apple ear pods or my debit card just so that when i'm getting on and off public transport it's just right there and i also love this because it just sits really nicely against your body so i suppose if you had anything really valuable you could put it there let's head over to the front of the bag again this handle is like this you've got a flap on top another thing i absolutely loved about my version of the bag is that the loewe logo logo is embossed ah that's another thing i forgot to mention of why i decided to buy this bag something that really drew me to it is that although it's a designer bag um it's very incognito no one's going to know that this is a designer handbag unless they know um you know designers like unless you're into designers and fashion you wouldn't know this was a loewe bag and that definitely attracts me to it because I like things that are a bit more incognito and i just love that the logo is embossed rather than silver embossed which a lot of them are so you have got this flap and then this zip now when i first got the bag and i opened the zip i found this quite stiff to be honest i found the whole bag a little bit stiff and boxy as i said i've been using it every day for like two weeks now and it's definitely got softer which i am all for um, because i love slouchy soft bags um, as I mentioned when I first got it and I got into it, I felt like the opening of the bag was a little bit stiff. I kind of expected it to be bigger, but as the, the leather has softened, it's gotten great. Something else to mention about my bag, which isn't the case with all the bags, is it is a grained leather and it does have feet on the bottom. Um, I forgot to mention, but the small, they've actually removed the feet off the bottom of the small bag now and it's only left on the medium, but I'm just going to lean down to tell you guys this some exciting exclusive news for you i was speaking to a woman at loewe a couple months ago and she told me that in around september october time loewe are going to be bringing out a new puzzle bag that is going to be a size in between the small and the medium so if you feel like this is too big for you but the small is too small for you hold out until the end of the year because loewe are bringing something out that also makes me wonder if that's why they're starting to make changes by removing feet because they're bringing out a third size option uh, well in between they already have a third size option they've got like a really large size of this and um, which is marketed towards men but by all means anyone can wear it as can they this um so yeah the feet are no longer on the small mine have the feet which i love because it means i'm not going to scratch the base um they are bringing out a new size which is something to bear in mind and mine is a grained leather which means it's much less likely to show any signs of wear and scratching um maybe this time next year i could do like an update on quality control and how it's held up but yeah mine's a grained leather which some of them are smooth and i feel like smooth leather is just gonna scratch easier so yeah that's the leather um the opening some people say this flap annoys them it does not bother me when i'm wearing this bag crossbody i actually i'm gonna be honest with you guys i never really zip this up like it's rare if i zip zip that up um i just find when it's crossbody and i've got this flap 
it's secure enough. I'm gonna notice if someone's trying to put their hand in my bag like this because there's no like easy way. And if the bag was literally on your crossbody and it was open like this, yeah, do it up. But when it's crossbody and it's like this, it's not gonna be easy for someone to get in. Literally, you can feel it. So I think the flap is a great invention for security and I really like the way it looks with the bag. But yeah, some people do mention that the flap can annoy them. Um, is anyone else having like really naughty innuendo thoughts every time I say flap because I can't get that out of my head. Uh, moving on swiftly, the opening, yeah, it's softened. I don't really shut it, but as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff in here at the moment. I've literally got a food bag with a banana in it, just in case I get hungry. So yeah, you can put anything you want in here. Just to also show you for size, this is a kind of compact umbrella and this fits in here absolutely fine as well. Like literally doesn't even have a problem getting in. You can also fit a one litre water bottle. Um, I haven't tried fitting a two litre water bottle. I don't think that would fit, but a one litre water bottle definitely fits. Um, and I find things are pretty easy to get in and out of. Um, what I love about my bag as well is that it's got this light linen inside detail, which just means that it's easier to find what you're looking for because you can see it's just such a mess in there right now. Um, it is kind of just a bottomless pit once you've got loads of stuff in there and you do kind of have to rummage around a bit for things. But I think the light colour lining definitely helps you find things because it's not so dark in there. Also, two more features to mention of the bag is at the back of the bag, you have this pocket here. Um, this pocket annoys me sometimes because when I'm just like putting my phone in my bag, it will often go in the pocket and then it just makes the pocket kind of protrude outwards so then when you're just putting your hand in to find things you're just sticking your hand in that side pocket and the same goes at the front of the bag so i'm going to see if you guys can see this at the front of the bag there is another pocket here which yeah the pockets are handy but to be honest i just find it more of a nuisance sometimes because I'm trying to find something and my hand's just in that pocket because it kind of comes out of it um i'm trying to think what else i can tell you guys about the features of the bag i think that's that's it on features um i think you guys are getting a pretty good idea of how much is in here at the moment i've got like two wallets i've got a full-size hand cream i've got a banana i've now got my phone so it does fit a lot inside it would fit a dslr camera in it karen britchick recently did well she's got two videos on the loewe puzzle bag that are fantastic um, and really really helpful so again i'm just going to lean down lean down to talk to you guys um if you don't know karen britchick i'll link her youtube channel below she has such amazing style oh my god i wish she lived closer so that i could do photography with her because oh her 70s looks are just like a 10 out of 10 incredible um but she's got a review video on the medium loewe puzzle bag and she's also got a video comparing the small and the medium so if you're undecided on which size to get definitely check out her video i'll link her channel below as i said so you can definitely see more of it then and i found her videos really helpful when i was like choosing to get this bag so yeah that's what's inside aha uh -huh, okay so as I mentioned, the flap doesn't bother me and I normally don't do this up just to leave it. But I will say if I'm holding it as a top handle bag, can you see how just pulling up this strap creates this dip in the shape? That makes it really annoying to get in. Like if I was just going to pick up my bag like this and then try and get in it, like I can't find things as, as easier. Um, it's such a small problem to have, but I just thought I'd mention that. I have held this on the crook of my arms a couple times and then been trying to get in to find something. And I just feel like I can't really figure out what's in there. And it is definitely much easier to find things within the bag when it's crossbody. Wearing it crossbody is my favourite way, way to wear it. And you can also see the detail on this strap. It's really comfortable and it is adjustable by these things. So to adjust it, you just... It's, mine's still really stiff because I haven't done it much, but... You just pop that open and then you would just slide it slide it along to where you want to do it or you can slide it backwards so yeah and then you just push it back in so it is adjustable um what else is there quality seems to be great no concerns on the quality the piping detail along the handle 
is you know perfect there's there's no issues with it i i do know louis vuitton has issues with their piping with loewe i don't feel like there's any issues at all i think the quality is amazing also the way the bag smelled when i unboxed it like for the for the first week there was just a gorgeous leather scent um if you're vegan i'm really sorry but i mean i thought it smelled amazing and just smelling it again now yeah it's still got that leather scent and it is gorgeous so the quality seems great um yeah to be honest i think that's it i think think let me bring you guys back to uh, my level to finish this off okay we're gonna wrap it up now i think that is it basically those are my first impressions on the bag if you feel like i've missed any important details leave it in the comments below guys i'll reply to your comments anything that i feel like i can add value to your, whether you're thinking about buying this or not let me know and I'll do my best to answer as best I can. But yeah, I can I can always reply to you guys in the comments. As I mentioned, I'll be doing a what's in my bag very soon. I might actually film that now so that I can get that up after this, just so that you guys can see that if you're interested. And yeah, I think that's it. I just, I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love it. And to be honest, like if you're looking for like an everyday bag that is stylish, incredible quality, incredible craftsmanship, I absolutely love the Loewe brand. I'm a huge fan of JW Anderson. Um, I love his brand and I love what he's done at Loewe as well. So big fan over here. And yeah, those are my first impressions on the Loewe bag. Hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, as I mentioned, any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.